Hi there, my name is Tom Gibson. I am a middle school math teacher and I like to make videos and sometimes I combine the two, like this video. So tomorrow I'm gonna to be teaching perfect squares to my pre-algebra students. My hope is that they'll see that perfect squares like 16 and 25 and 36 and 49 is not just a number times a number, but they will see that it is an actual perfect square. And the way that we're gonna do that is by using Cheez-Its. I'm gonna start out by having them tell me the dimensions of a Cheez-It. Then I'm gonna ask them to make me a square out of four Cheez-Its and ask them, well, what are the dimensions of that Cheez-It? Well, it's a two by two. How do you know it is a perfect square? Because it is too long and it's too wide. Then I'm gonna see if they can make me a perfect square out of six Cheez-Its. And they won't be able to because they'll be able to make a three by two or a two by three, but it won't be a perfect square. So they will realize I can't make a perfect square with six, even though I can multiply two things. And then I'm gonna say, what is the next smallest perfect square you can make? And hopefully they will see, okay, I've already done one. I've I've done two by two, maybe I can make a three by three. And then, then we're gonna go from there. I'm gonna have them chart each step of the way and we're going to define root as the side, one side of a perfect square. So a square root is if you have 49 square units, what is the square root? That means one side must be seven because seven by seven makes a perfect square and that's what's gonna give me 49. So let's see how it goes. She's not gonna count them, but eventually you'll need a certain amount. What are the dimensions of one Cheez-It? One by one. One by one. Make one square out of four Cheez-Its. Does this count as one? It's kind of does a, that, does that count? <laughs> no. Um, the square. What does two by two mean? It means like two up, two, two, like no, two down and up and two across. Okay. And when you had one square, how long was the side? One. one. When you had four squares, how long was one side? Two. 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 How would you define root? One. Wait. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> Jesus. Um, the number so divided by itself to equal half of it. <laughs> Create a Cheez-It or a square out of six Cheez-Its. Ta-da! Is that a perfect square? Yes, yeah. totally. <laughs> because it's not perfect in each side. To be a square, it would have to be perfect in each side. So what are the dimensions of this? When you use six Cheez-Its, what dimensions did you use? It would be three by two. Next amount that will need to be able to make a perfect square. We might need more cheeses. Uh, I put three by three. Three by three. Nine. Okay, so is that the smallest one you can make besides yeah. the two by two? Yeah. 13. I can't wait to show this slide because I kind of showed them before they finish the activity. This is probably better once they get through most of them. You should think that like, it looked kind of like division, but I didn't see like a number on the other side. So I was like, how do I do this? But now, since like I learned how like square roots is like um, what number times itself equals that number. Before I knew what I was doing, I like before I had done a couple of them, I made imperfect squares. Mm -hmm. I made a rectangle. Oh. They are working on a puzzle that they can finish. Yeah. If they finish their working class, it's like a Sudoku. It's called a Ken Ken. We don't normally t take class time for it, but it's one of those things that they can do when they finish an assignment in addition to Khan Academy Master Challenge. Uh, any feedback on today? It was like easy to visualize it. Okay. Um, and it was yummy. 
So to recap, it went pretty well. Originally I had one box for like every 12 students, but I should probably have done two boxes for every 12 students. The lesson doesn't take very long at all. It took about 30 or 40 minutes, and that's with conversations afterwards, and then kind of talking about how four squared, the reason why we call that little two squared is because it creates a four by four square. Let me know if you try it out. Let me know if it works out for you. Let me know if you have any suggestions on how to change it. If this was helpful, go ahead and leave a thumbs up and that will help uh, other teachers find this video when they're searching for square root activities. Also, if you're interested, I have a series of videos um, on how I've created a classroom economy in my middle school math classes. Um, so I'll go ahead and link it right there. But thanks for watching and I will see you in the next video. Then I'm going to look, think of number five, and I cannot create number five out of any of these, so I look at my list to see what my next color is, and it is white. Then I think of six. Um, can I build six out of any of my previous blocks? I can. Um, I can do three times two, or two times three. Either one, that will create six. 